Well, but let me first talk about Simona Halep. Well, the former world number one has been handed a four-year ban from tennis. The Romanian has been found guilty of two separate anti-doping violations. Now, Halep has confirmed she will appeal the sentence. The two-time Grand Slam champion has been provisionally suspended since October of 2022 after testing positive for a banned substance called Roxidostat at the US Open last year. An independent tribunal accepted Halep's argument as she had taken a contaminated supplement, but rules that would not have resulted in the concentration of Roxidus stat found in her urine sample. Now, Roxidus stat increases the number of red blood cells in the body and is therefore banned by the World Anti-Doping Agency. The second charge related to irregularities in Halep's biological passport. The panel stated they had no reason to doubt the unanimous opinion reached by three independent experts. That quote, likely doping was the explanation for the irregularities. The International Tennis Integrity Agency has found a four-year ban, which means a 31-year-old will not be able to play professional tennis till the 6th of October 2026. Now, Halep continues to deny any wrongdoing and says she will appeal the sentence in the Court of Arbitration of Sport. She said in a statement, and I quote, The last year has been the hardest match of my life, and unfortunately, my fight continues. I have devoted my life to the beautiful game of tennis. I take the rules that govern our sport very seriously and take pride in the fact I have never knowingly or intentionally used any prohibited substance. I refuse to accept their decision of a four-year ban. Now, Halep won the French Open in 2018 and the Wimbledon in the following year. She is the first high-profile tennis player to fail a drugs test since Maria Sharapova in 2016. Halep was ranked number one in the world across 2017 and 2018.